What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Gym Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, we got to talk about the Transformers, man, because last time you said we got to talk about it, we got to save that conversation, but I've, I've held on for this long. And then after seeing the trailer for the last trailer for the Transformers, I'm like, this, the original movie from director... Michael Bay. Michael Bay was just a taste of the possibilities. It was good enough, Brian, to keep us entertained and satisfied with that movie. I was very much entertained by that movie. I think it's one of, it's one of my favorite. It is my Wait, favorite Transformers which, film. Is it? Hang on. Do you mean Bumblebee or Transformers? Because Bumblebee, first, is, or Bumblebee very, is good. Bumblebee the is good. That's, a, that's Travis Knight. That's a very different director, very different style. The first Michael Bay joint. The, but I agree with you. There's There's been two two versions of this that started to move in the right direction. The first was, as you say, the first Transformers movie, the reason why I think it gets at least in the ballpark in some of the stories because we, because we know that Steven Spielberg had his hands on that story. He pitched okay. it as it's a story about a boy in his car. And Spielberg always had that nostalgia and that sort of emotion. And like, it's not perfect, but that movie yeah. tries with Sam and Bumblebee to have a little bit more of a grounded story. And then the robots kind of are around that. It then got progressively just more mayhem and destruction and kind of, there was no story. It was just like, what can Michael Bay blow up <laughs> over the course of two hours? Yes. And it got progressively worse to the point yeah. where people people were still going, but it it, it just wasn't enjoyable. It, it made billions of dollars. It's crazy. Two. I was yeah. And then my biggest complaint with the Bay franchise, I don't know how you feel about it, was they just seem to get further and further away from what the toys actually exactly. Like. No, that, that's that's for sure. That's one of the biggest complaints of mine, and it, it just got silly. But this, my friends, is it is if you're a Transformers fan. Is at this point, Brian, you almost don't even care what the story is. The things that they've shown you, you want to see it played out. The little pieces of Unicron, Brian, that we have to discuss because it poses some problems for other people who are trying well, to do something just as big. But all it doesn't matter what the story is, Brian. People are just hyped to see in full what we've been teased with thus far yeah and i will say i actually think the bumblebee movie the part of the bumblebee movie that got me most excited was actually one they didn't spend a lot of time with it's the opening scene on cybertron ah, yes. i love that scene yeah, because that the original classic generation one transformers look right and they're on yes. Cybertron for a fight. Yes. And I was yes. like, this is what I wanted. The yeah. Bumblebee movie itself is fine. It's actually pretty good, but it, it moves away from that. But this movie finally starts to look like the toys, but done well. The action is not confusing to me in the trailer. Like when I see the Transformers doing Transformer thing, I can follow what's happening and I'm excited to see it. And if anything, I almost feel like I don't think they needed to show me as much as they have. Yeah. Um, and I hope they didn't waste some of the best action shots in, in, in the trailer. But uh, everyone from Prime so to too. Primal um, to, you know, the, the, the beasts, the beasts look good in this to me. They look well. They look well done. They move well. Like And of course, as we talked about, they start opening up possibilities for Voltron and Thundercats and like there's all sorts of other franchises that look possible when you see this. Of course, that 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 cheetah running across. Oh my god! I was like, yo, if I don't get an announcement for Transform um, for Voltron in the next year, it's like, dudes, what are you waiting for? It's right there. It is possible, Brian. What are the prospects for box office? Well, they seem okay, um, but June, as we have said many times on this show, you know, Hollywood is back. We can talk about writer's strike and all that, not, but the stuff that's in the can, it's been a pretty good year for movies, and we just had another mega hit, and it is in our genre, but I'm not sure we're going to talk about it, but Spider-Verse has gone big. 
right? First movie, Spider-Verse, 38 million opening weekend. Second movie, 120. 120. And people come up to me and tell me, yo, you seen Spider-Man? Yeah, I was like, nah, not yet. It is good. Go check it out. I have so not I'm seen it either. It I'm going to see Wednesday. it. I'm going to see it later this week. But mm -hmm. it has blown up. And now Transformers opens right behind it. So the projections are that it's going to be somewhere between like 70 to 80, 70 to 90 million for opening weekend, which for this is pretty good. The, the Bay movies were able at times to do big, bigger than that. But I think the expectations for this were a bit lower. But it's tough because the Flash is coming a week behind this. So this is really the only weekend where this is going to be in the lead position. And with Spider-Verse outperforming the way it has, it's going to be very competitive and very tough. So I'm a little worried. But I also have faith that if this thing, I also have faith in two things. One is that Spider Verse it was a has been a very U.S. centric film. This I expect to be a very global film. Yes. So I actually am not watching the U.S. box office as much as I am watching the non-U.S. box office. Prediction for total. So I still think so. If it's seventy to ninety in the U.S., I actually think it could be two fifty or more globally which I think would be excellent. And that would put you on pace to make money and hopefully get us, you know, more of these that if it's good. I'm thinking over 350. Oh, wow. Opening okay. We can global 350 to four around there. Cause the reason why I say that, Brian, these other whack transformers movies made over a billion dollars. You're right, and China, and China and Asia were massive. The fourth one, Age of Extinction, made over a billion dollars globally, and I think China was made more. It was more, bigger in China than it was in the U.S. in terms of box office. Let us see. What are you? I guess before we wrap this up, what are you most looking forward to in this film? So I think the number one thing that's been teased in the trailer that I'm excited about is it it feels like for the first time the Transformers themselves have personality. Yes, Th yes This yes, has yes. always felt like a struggle, especially in the Bay movies. And even in the Bumblebee movie, I do not understand why Bumblebee is not allowed to have a voice. That has gotten really tiresome and really old. And if anything, yeah. it's felt like writers don't want to write for the robot. Right. But, but yeah, look, you can write Black Adam. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, I, had a, I had a random <laughs> comment about that. But um, but if we go back, the show was obviously about the personalities of the robots. That's what made the cartoon interesting was, yes. you know, Prime and Megatron and Starscream and Soundwave. They had distinctive personalities. And so the thing that's been teased in the trailer is just that, like, Mirage seems to have a personality. Like, when he ta he has real lines. Like, we know Optimus yeah. kind of his deal. Primal seems to have a personality like that's what i'm excited to see is the robots actually being characters we kind of care about beyond just what they transform into and in kind of you know slow-mo action shots which do look really good so that's what i'm most interested in what are you most interested to see although we haven't talked about unicron yet, yes yes but. yes um i am interested in listening to the dialogue and how the comfort the confrontations will occur you know, because it's always going to be some dialogue before that eventually happens. So I'm I'm looking forward to uh, uh, hearing Primal, uh, what lines Optimus Prime is going to say. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing some of the Decepticons, like the real Decepticons, not the ones that well, we got. Held back. Yeah, this, yeah. The so promotional I, I, material has really held the bad guys back. We haven't heard a single line or anything. Exactly. So that's going to be very, very interesting to see. Um, Unicron, Brian. We've only seen glimpses, but what we've seen have been spectacular. A spectacle, yep. I'll say. When you see that, Brian, I'm pretty sure fans are just going to be in awe of what they see if they put if what we have seen so far is any indication of how grand and and and, and crazy this is going to look right yeah it, it looks like they are at least when the scenes in the trailer it looks like they're combining a little bit of transformers the movie which obviously had yes, 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 in yes, it with yes, leonard nimoy as the voice and then there was also that in the in the original cartoon there was that series of episodes where they bring Cybertron to Earth. 
uh, and it kind of seems like it comes into the gravitational. As that's what it looked like to me. There was I, I forget what that was called. Whether it was like uh, the ultimate doom or something like that. But they actually transport Cybertron to Close Earth's right, atmosphere, okay. and that causes all sorts of kind of global destruction. So yeah, yeah. I think it looks like they're combining a little bit of that too. But I agree. Like the, the Unicron fight scene looks incredible. Like the action you see of like Prime kind of sliding and you know ducking explosions on the surface. I'm like. You know, I'm I'm ready. Like, <laughs> and when Bumblebee's in the air and he takes out yeah. his, oh my god, yo! How can Marvel come? Listen, whoever says there's no competition, there's competition, my friends. MCU has grand competition now because this is something totally different. That if people gravitate towards this, they gravitate towards announcements of Voltron announcements uh, of other stuff mm -hmm. people might start to move away brian from the superhero genre because their formula no longer works well i think they're also looking for kid and family friendly i mean I look at the biggest movies this year super mario brothers now spider-verse like these are movies that are accessible to adults but you can take your kids and so like yeah this one looks like it has a lot of action a lot of violence but it's like cartoonish robot violence it's not bloody violence and so That's i feel like be. You see big animals that are robots on screen. Kids are excited. Like, so this has that feel of like something you can take the family to and the family wants to see it again and again. Can I get the toys? And can I, you know, that that's, you know, that's the ticket. And that's kind of the, the, the monopoly that Marvel had that now seems to be kind of slipping away. So, yeah, I I agree. Um, I think I think this has the potential to have some legs. Like I said, even if the. The, the box office for this is not as massive as some of the Michael Bay movies. I think it could have a long life, like when it goes to streaming, when it goes to oh, rental. Man. Like, I think you'll have a lot of people who are like, hey, I didn't get to it in the summer, but they'll get to it and then be like, man, I wish I saw this on the biggest screen possible. And so that's kind of how I think this movie works. But I also feel, Brian, that the following weekend, because the hype for Flash is going to certainly be there, there's going to be those people who won't be able to get tickets and will go see the Transformers. Perhaps even repeat people. Are gonna, you, you never know, Brian. I don't think that second weekend uh, is going to hurt Transformers. I think that shows, to me anyway, a lot of confidence in, in their movie. Well, I agree. I also feel like the big loser in this is going to wind up, as we talked about, being Indiana Jones because that movie is supposed to open over July 4th weekend. And I feel like now, if you have Spider-Verse, Transformers, and Flash that are all good, and all things that people want to see. You're right. Not everyone's going to get to see those opening weekend. But with a holiday, they will come back around and see something they haven't seen yet. And that will probably not be an 80-year-old Harrison Ford. And by the way, I did want to say yes. one thing. You mentioned Marvel with the visuals. Mm -hmm. Whatever you think of Michael Bay, I always thought, especially the first three Transformers movies, the actual CGI... And then his use of 3D in Dark of the Moon is actually really good. Like, mm -hmm. the Transformers don't look fake. Like, when yeah, Prime yeah, yeah, is fighting yeah. Megatron at the end of the first Transformers movie, it looks like there's two enormous robots in the streets. And mm -hmm. so, like, I'm not expecting any fall off. The trailers don't show, if anything, the trailers look better in terms of, like, what the Transformers physically are able to do. So, again, it puts pressure on Marvel to be, like, why why are your visuals inconsistent when these other franchises are now putting out really good looking complicated cgi stuff yeah yeah and i heard some like news of regarding the flash and the, the the cgi not looking that great in certain parts that you can actually tell that like oh yeah, Ooh, CGI, okay so because the trailers i feel like look fine so that's interesting yeah yeah but yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Transformers, tra the last trailer. Um, are you guys going to go see this movie the first, second, and third week? It's out. If you don't get a chance to see The Flash, just, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people waiting to see The Flash and it's going to be packed. I'll probably see that on the second or third week, Brian. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be seeing that the first week and out. You? I mean, I'm going to try to see them all opening weekend if I can. So yeah, I mean, yeah. Transformers... We're gonna see more more yeah. than once for sure. That one, my my, yeah, yeah. my wife actually wants to see, so I might see it like before oh. we get a chance to go together. But she actually really wants to see it, so I'm like, well, uh, okay, okay, we'll go okay. check it out again. But then, yeah, I'll, I'll just... see the flash. You know, the weird thing with the flash, I can't do it because um, I'm going to a concert. But I got mm -hmm. a heads up on a, a free advanced screening for the flash this week. Oh wow! 
So I'm not able to go, unfortunately, but there was one wow. happening in Phoenix uh, Wednesday night. Um, wow. So, yeah, they're, Warner Brothers is really trying to get this thing out to the people. Yeah, I mean, they, 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 again, nobody has said this movie is whack. Everyone who has seen it has said this movie is good. There are some of those who say that this movie is good, but not the best, not the best movie uh, superhero film. You know, it's, it's it's a bit exaggerated there, but we'll see. Um, that will be coming up soon. Uh, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, hit the notification bell. Share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time in, on the Nerd Gym Report. The show goes on! Yeah!